Welcome, folks. Uh, we have the Dow Industrials right now trading up. Uh, well, oh, let's read out card. I know. Without my growl, I got that get a little discombobulated here. We'll get that growl next week. I'm getting there, though. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise out here, let's take a look at it, folks. We have the Dow Industrials down 149, NASDAQ up 33, SP's up 7.5. Gold. Gold contract down $13.80, trading at 1864 an ounce. We have silver down 34 cents, twenty-two dollars thirty-nine cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down ninety-nine cents, ninety dollars seventy-three cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A ten-year note up five ticks, trading one hundred eight flat. Thirty-year up six ticks at one thirteen twenty-two. And king dollar, king dollar right now. Where are you, king dollar? You've been all over the place, man. How does this happen when I get there? It is. King dollar down seventy-nine ticks at one hundred six. 144, the euro at 105, the yen's trading at 149, the British pound is at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. Now, in the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, when you take a look at this S&P, what you're going to see is that we came right down to the breakout area yesterday. You did reject lower price at the 422 area. Yeah, now you had big volume there. You had 104 million, and you were going into like 88. A couple days before that, you had 118. That being said, bottom line was that we bounced off it, okay? Now, we rejected 425 this morning. And you can have some decent volume. So it's telling me that we get a bounce on, that's for sure. Now we'll see where that bounce goes. We get a big gap that's laying out here at the uh, 430 area, 438 area, actually. 438? Yeah, the 438 area. We go take a look, let's go take a look at the E minis intraday because where this dollar goes for the next hour is where this SP is going to go. So if we take a look at the minis, what we have, that was a good bar. This last 10-minute bar is a good bar, man. So if I take this and go from highs to lows today, we just did a 0.382. It just spiked it. There wasn't hardly any volume on the way down here today, you know. This is what's interesting. So the probability is that you're still going to try to get higher. So let's go to the note and bond market first, because the note and bond market is correlated with the dollar. So if we take a look at the 10-year, you're going to see the 10-year, 1.8 million contracts. Not holding price that well, though. We did, we, are, we got to 10. 814 and now you're at 10731. You know, so that doesn't look to me that, that can press in. So the high of yesterday, the high of the low is 10808. No. Yeah, 10808. You know, so if you're digging into this again, that's saying that that bottom can get tested. Then let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is the number, man. It's, it's just pretty amazing how the currency is running everything. Well, it, it makes sense because it, it, the interest rate structure is what's actually running it. That's keeping the dollar strong. So we take a look at this dollar, what you're going to see. This is, this is what you want to look at, folks. Now, I'm giving you this on, on a weekly basis, but this is going to be the number. If you, we take a look at it, what you're going to see is this. You have two different areas. I'll mark both of them. The first, the first area, though, is the area that we actually went into this week, which is the low of the downdraft. And that downdraft was pretty dramatic. We went from 113 to 106 in one week. Okay, So just like an, just like an equity, this is a currency, but just like an equity, when you do that, you have that type of price spread. I mean, there's, there's a monster seller there. So... The bottom of this is 106.281. We're at 106.162. So 206. No, 
What are we talking about? 106. 281. Yeah. 106, 281. If you close below that 106, 281, that would be a failure in price. And that would be saying that, okay, that's what, that's what it's trying to do the whole time. It failed. And we'll see whether they get any follow through next week on the way down. You know, if you don't fail there, if we close above that, then that swing point's going to be game. And the swing point above it is into that 107, you know. It's been relentless, though. There's no doubt about that. We take a look at, let's go over to the oil market and take a look at oil. So, CLA. Oil contract out here. Got a high of 93 today, a low of 90. You get 322,000 contracts. Well, I don't think this is done yet. It's, gonna, it's, a, it's a close call, but I don't think this is done yet. You know, you had high volume all the way up to, you know, almost 93. You know, you, you had light volume yesterday, but you'll be a pulling back with light volume compared to what it's going into. That's how this is set up. Inside the uh, NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness, you got uh, Walgreens Boots is up 5.5%, uh, five Micron's up 4.5%. Let me just look at Micron because I want to. I think this is just a dead cat bounce. My Micron was the one that was down bad yesterday. Yeah, that's Micron's down with volume yesterday, monster. So that's just they, they caught people on the wrong side today. That's all that is. So you got uh, aluminum's up four percent. Z scale is up three. Taken away from it, uh, Sirius satellite is off three point seven. You got. Uh, Oh, bank, oh, Baker Hughes. Baker Hughes off 3%. Let's look at Baker Hughes. Because it would be kind of interesting. If they start smoking these oil stocks, that's going to be a heads up. Yeah, that's down with light volume, though. Stay right there, folks. Uh, we're coming right back. And uh, bottom line, folks, okay, we got our man, Mr. Peter Bruno. Peter is going to be doing a show on TFNN. Uh, it's going to be Wall Street Money Hour. And Peter has been in this business a long time. He was actually on the same station I was on for like 20 years in the West Coast. Peter and I are coming right back, folks. Stay right there.